Hey everybody, this is Don over at Johnny's Used Cars. Voted the best place to buy a car in Okinawa by the military community of Okinawa. Today I'm showing this 2006 Toyota Crown Athlete. It's got 75,000 kilometers on it, which is only 46,500 uh, miles. Before I get started, I'd like to let you know that we do have on a lot discounts. So the price you're seeing on our website right now will not be the final price when you come on a lot. Also, if you're arriving to Okinawa soon or you just arrived, Please make sure you stop by Johnny's these cars as soon as you can and have a look around. Even before you get yourself a driver's license, there are benefits of doing it that way. So with that, let's have a look around. I'll show the features inside. But first, I'd like to ask you to please watch the video until the end. I do go over a lot of information in my videos. going to answer a lot of your questions. Things like the JCI, the warranty, the road tax. I cover all that and more. So please bear with me till the end. You have all the answers. If not, please contact me or stop on by. This Toyota Crown Athlete is a five passenger vehicle in the 300 series category, so the larger category. Road tax per year is going to be 19,000 yen, which is about $140 right now with the current exchange rate. Road tax is due every April, May time frame. So we're going to take care of the new 2024 road tax for you, and then it's on, you won't have to worry about it for another year. Now you do have two ways to pay for this. First one being US dollars cash outright, which could get you a larger discount. Or take advantage of our 0% financing for 24 months with zero down. Yes, we don't have a down payment requirement, but if you want to put something down, reduce our overall monthly payments, you can. A lot of our customers do like 500 to 1,000. Some do half, some do more. Up to you. Before we go inside, I was like showing the rain guards. Rain guards will allow you to roll your windows down a little bit this way. If it rains, it's not going to get wet inside. More important feature uh, benefit is it's going to give you that cross ventilation, get that extremely hot air out. And always get yourself a good windshield visor. All right? So with that, let's jump on inside. Let's get this baby started. All right. So uh, keyless on your uh, person, foot on the brake. It is a push start. You push that one time, and it goes. All right. Get this out just a little bit. All right. Let's sneak this in here. 75,076 on the odometer. Showed a couple of warning lights. Let me uh, lower this just a little bit, this fan. All right, that one right there, obviously your seatbelt. Make sure you wear your seatbelt. They do, do give tickets on and off base. And then that circular one, that's your um, that's your emergency brake. Now this one's a kick type to engage it, and then a handle, a lever to disengage it. I'll show you that lever here shortly. But you kick it, it engages again. Uh, that one right there is a sport, so you do normal or sport, depending on which one uh, the drive you want. Also with this one, that's uh, the type of power that you want. I'm going to show you those buttons here shortly. Okay. Other than that, it's very simple, straightforward, straight ahead instrument cluster. And then pops up on a dash while you're driving. Please pull over, find out what it is, take the necessary action. Off the left here, you have your little clock. Uh, you have your uh, swing feature on here. So if you have the swing, it's going to swing back and forth with the air. Then you have your uh, monitor. This one does have a rear camera and sensors, parking sensors. Um, now, over here controls the radio. Over here controls most of the uh, air conditioning. But to get to the channels and everything, you're gonna hit uh, this left button. That's the audio. So I'm gonna turn it back on and put it the radio really low and go to FM. And it's not set to 89.1, which it would, should be. I'm gonna have to talk to somebody on that one. Sorry, Troy. And of course, all of AFN. So 89.1. So this is where you're gonna have all your presets. And then the one to the right, all the way to the right, that's your air conditioning. So it's gonna tell you where you want the uh, air to be flowing and how hard you want the fan and then uh, whether the AC is on or off. And then the one in the middle is to get it back to the na Japanese navigation, okay? So uh, ashtray and lighter down here, your shifter, cup holders, and then this is where all the, uh, how you want to drive. The traction control is on or off, the sport uh, suspension, and whether you want the power or not. I would definitely not recommend putting it in snow, okay? And then you have your armrest slash uh, console. Uh, if you watch my other videos in this, I really don't like this part. You can push it. And it comes out uh, for a tray. It has a tray down here. Now, this is what makes no sense. They put the, all the way back there, they put a, a, a spare uh, power outlet. So to get to it, you know, you, yeah, if you're ready, you could go ahead and go all the way back there. But every time you hit this thing, it comes out. So, which nine times out of 10, you're gonna hit it. So I'm not a big fan of that one. All right. Over here, you have the glove box. Then this guy hanging out right there, that's your ETC reader. That's your electronic toll collector. This works like easy pass in the States if you're able to get the card for it for the expressway. All right. Then you have a little bit of storage on each uh, door panel. You are able to extend this out if you need to put something larger in there. Okay. That's your passenger space over there. You got your red roof flare hanging out. And this is the space I have on my side. 
Let me make sure the seat is all the way back and now all the way down. I am 5'11", as everybody loves knowing. Um, I'm comfortable right where I am, or I can slide this up an inch or two and still be comfortable driving. Let's go eye level. That's my eye level right there. I can see some of the hood, not all of it. Go all the way back. Now, I'd like to take this time to show the auction sheet, showing you that this is a non-accident vehicle from mainland Japan. Please keep that in mind, non-accident vehicle from mainland. All these other dealers out here can't tell you that. We can on all our cars. And some dealers will try to discredit this. Stop by, we'll explain why. But this is graded four from the auction with a B and B on the exterior interior. So it's a really good grade for this. Um, and that's gonna be up here, very clean car. That's gonna be up here on a sun visor on the driver's side so you can see that for yourself. And we'll also help you uh, decipher it, okay? If need be. And this AC is cranking pretty well, all right? Feeling good. All right, so let's show you a couple other uh, items before we go to the back. So over here, this is the parking brake. So you, you kick it down to engage it. That's what the circle is for. And then you lift this up and now it's gone, okay? So this is the lever to uh, to disengage the parking brake. Then you do have a, a, a power steering wheel, so up, down, left or right, okay? And then it does have cruise control, not that you'll ever use it that much. And this is the parking sensor, so when I put it in reverse, you see over here, it's saying that there's something right there on the right side, that's the concrete uh, ramp that's next to it. So that's where those sensors are. Let me open the door here, I'm gonna turn it off. Your foot doesn't have to be on the brake when you turn it off, just push that one time. This way it's less noise. And then this controls the illumination of the dash, uh, your mirrors. Um, this thing never comes out, I mean, very rarely comes out. All it is is a very small little storage. That's just gonna be as is. And then uh, don't forget that you have your gas cover release there and your hood release. On the door panel, you have your door lock and window controls and also the uh, button for your trunk release, all right? So let's go to the back seat. Oops, yeah, I should show you first, huh? All right, so with the seat all the way back, all the way down, about two inches away from the back seat to my knees, each seat back does have pocket storage. Uh, with these, just be careful what you put in there. If you leave it extended, because uh, you have a, a lot of stuff in there, uh, for an extended amount of time, these will not be elastic anymore. So you just gotta be careful and they'll just bobble, okay? Just a little bit of storage on each door panel, okay? And then it does have the all important vents back here. You wanna make sure this is in the top position. That white uh, little part is all the way up. This way you get in the airflow uh, coming back here, okay? Then it does have a center, come on. Man, that thing probably hasn't been out in a while. There you go. So you do have a center console slash armrest that comes down. Um, it's gonna give you some storage. Cup holders up front, and be careful if your kids know about this because it controls the volume, uh, the channels, and uh, you know the uh, the radio controls. So just be careful on that. And then it does have side uh, buttons for your rear for your passenger that you could uh, play around with. All right. See, so you see, this is the concrete. That's what the sensor was uh, uh, picking up. Let's show you this right here. So here's uh, the trunk area. Of course, it has a, a safety triangle. It has this nice crown uh, carpet that's aftermarket, but a very nice sized trunk. Let's go to the front here. So the engine compartment, I'm gonna wrap this video up. All right, there you have it. This is the 3.5 liter, so the larger one. 3.5 liter V6, nice and clean. All right, there you have it. 2006 uh, Mazda, <laughs> Toyota Crown Athlete. I don't know where that came from. Maybe I was looking at the Demio. Toyota Crown Athlete, um, 75,000 kilometers on it, which is 46 and a half thousand miles. Military prices are at 6,300. With an additional military discount, we'll get it down to 6,100. Again, while you're here, please ask the information guy about on the lot discounts and you will get a lower price on this. For now, the 6,100 will include a two year JCI, the one year uh, bumper to bumper full warranty, the new 2024 road tax and the 10% sales tax is already included. Only thing on top will be your American insurance requirement. Will they go liability or full coverage, which is totally up to you, and we can assist you with that here. Touching on these warranties real quick, yes, there are two-year warranties out here. However, they're not the best thing since sliced bread, so don't be fooled by them. Stop by, we'll explain why. But we do encourage you to shop around, go to the dealer, see what they have, check out the condition, mileage, and pricing of their vehicles, then stop by Johnny's Used Cars, let us show what we have, what our program's all about, and how we can assist you. We are definitely making a difference out here because we are different. It's one of the many reasons why we did win the Stars of Stripes, Best Pacific Magazines, Best Place to Buy a Car, and Okinawa Awards. Stop by, we'll show you why, like we have many, many others. 
Don't forget two ways to pay for it. U.S. dollars cash out rate. We're taking advantage of zero percent financing for 24 months. Either way, we're good to go. Please like and subscribe. And as always, thank you very much for watching. Take care. Hope to see you soon.